protocols of Yahweh Shai and not speak in your own heart. What you feel, how you feel, why you feel that way, right? Put off the former conversation because we had a former conversation. I know my former conversation. Was it back in the world? Was there certain things I was talking about? Was it spiritual? Yeah, but it wasn't as spiritual because your mind wasn't really geared, geared, geared towards the truth like that. Right? Which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. So, our old conversation, it was according to the deceitful lust, the old man, what the old man wanted to do. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Right? So that's what we're going to do. Be renewed in the spirit of your how way of a shite. The spirit of your mind. See, it's all the Yahweh was always teaching that. Your mind. Not the outwardly, not just coming to camp and looking the part, acting like you're the part. Right? Oh, man. And you put on the new man, which is after the most high, is created in righteousness and true holiness. So it's there. The opportunity is there every single day. But men, they don't want to do that. They come in the truth with them nigger ways and they bring that into the truth. And I'm, I'm not perfect. And guess what? I'll be right. There's still little um, tendencies you still have of the world. Of course. But I'm talking about this guy. You've been in the truth six, seven years and there's no change. You're actually worse than you were when you first heard about the truth. Right? That's a problem. I have to say it. That is a problem. Wherefore, put away lying and speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be angry and sin not. Remember, the anger's good, but sin not. Don't let your anger let you to do, to do something or say something silly that you regret. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. In other words, don't let it go down to the next day. And you're still feeling that same way. Right? So this is all what exercise of what the spirit. Neither give place to the devil. Right? So you don't give place to the devil when he's what? Playing tricks on your mind. You don't give in. What do you do? You, you apply the scriptures. devil put some thoughts in thoughts in your head what you don't entertain that you rebuke it instantly straight away the certain men they never done that they may have, they may have had an issue with the brother they didn't rebuke them thoughts they entertain them thoughts then say and yep spiritual demon said yep i got you now because you didn't do anything you didn't apply the scriptures all right let him that still still no more so if you are thief stop teething but rather let him labour, working with his hands the things which is good that he may have to give to him that needeth. Right? This man's lame. I've got to say this, man. And this man, Esau, this way he has to be taken down. Right? Because his whole thing is what destroying this earth. Right? He wants to keep you in a carnal vibration. Right? Damn clowns. But we, saw, we see how funny it is when these planes what, drop out of the sky. <laughs> right? Wherefore it says, let him steal no more, but rather let him labour. Work with his hands that which is good, the thing which is good that he may give to him that need is. So that's the main thing. Right? Working with your own hands. Labouring. Spiritually first. Right? Because that's the key thing. Right? Laboring spiritually. Right? And it says again, same thing. It's the same thing. Let, right? No corrupt communication. No corrupt. So you don't let any false doctrines come out of thy mouth. Right? But that which, okay, is good to the use of what edifying. So everything we're doing, it should be for the course of edifying. And what does edifying mean? To be built up. Right? That it may minister grace unto the hearers. So the main thing, what you're getting of this, is grace. 
right? Yeah. To the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of the Most High. So the thing you don't want to be doing, especially in these times, you don't want to be grieving the spirit of Yahweh Yahushai. Right? Because this right now is a grace period. So if you're grieving the spirit, guess what? Yahushua's going to get pissed off with you. You can go past this up. Ain't how many people. This is a grief, uh, grace period. So we use this grace to get what? Better. Right? So you can be deemed acceptable in the eyes of Yahweh Yahushai. And it says, we going to shut off. Ye are still to the day of redemption. The two bitterness, wrath, anger, and clamor, and evil speaking. And the scriptures talk about don't speak evil of your brother. Especially if you know he's on that right path. He's, he's, not, he's not breaking the laws. He's doing what he's supposed to be doing. Right? And evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Be kind one to another, tender hearted, forgive him. It doesn't mean you don't correct your brother. You still correct him. But the Lord, at the end of the day, Yahweh knows your heart. Right? He knows your intentions. Right? And forgive one another as much as also have forgiven you. So just apply the scriptures. Right? So with this one, I hope this is edifying. And until the next one, shalom.